Hey guys, this is Ken over at Easy Storage Solutions and Rise Marketing. Just giving you uh, a quick video here to, to kind of explain our monthly reports a little bit. We get this question a lot. You know, there's a lot of information in this, and we just kind of want to narrow down and look at some key areas that you guys can look at when you get this report so that you can kind of make sense of what's going on, okay? So um, here we have the report just as if you would have got it in your email. You open it up. Um, usually the rankings are at the top. Um, sometimes it gets the order gets moved around a little bit, but um, what this rankings section is is just where you guys are ranking on Google um, and and also on Bing for whatever reason Bing didn't populate on this download but normally it will so um, we can just kind of ignore that for now but here what this does is this is going to show you exactly where you're ranking for specific keywords so for if I type in Camden and self storage that means I'm number one if I type in Camden storage I'm number two and and so on so Another area to look at, and the most important area, is the Google change right here. Okay, so Google change means how many spots we've increased you since we started. So originally, when someone used to type in Camdenton Mini Storage, this website was clear off of Google, off the 10th page. And now they're number one, which makes an increase of 99 spots. Um, and so when you add all this stuff together, you get this number up here. With your overall Google change of, of 1,569. So um, over time, you can see the trend line has kind of went up and down, up and down. Um, this right here, in a lot of people's reports, it shows this big dip. That's actually just a glitch in the software. It never really dipped that high. But as you can see, it came right back up the next month. So the glitch got fixed. But as you can see, it, it does kind of go up and down some months. Sometimes they're more drastic depending on different areas. Um, and so that's natural. That's just how it works. Um, and it always ends up coming back. So as it just slowly does this little decline, it comes back up, and now it's at its highest point ever, right up here on in March of 2017. So um, that kind of is just a quick breakdown of what to look for. Focus on the Google change. Look to see if this is trend is going up, but don't panic if it has a little trend that's going down. And then you can see exactly where you rank for each keyword and how many spots we've increased you here in this column here. So uh, the next section is your analytics. So Google Analytics is just how many people are going to your website. Okay, So this is going to break down some traffic here and this is also a trend line. You can see each month how many people went to your website. Um, you know here you start to see it's declined in the winter months. Um, that's, that's fairly natural. It happens and already in March you see it's already started to climb back up. So they looks like you know over 300 visitors um, you know in, in that month and they're in a pretty small area so that's actually really good. Um, direct and referral traffic down here. What this does is this this section down in here, all this breakdown, this takes this main number, which is how many people go to your website. So sessions just means people that actually access your website. So you had overall they've had over 3,000 sessions. And then it breaks it down and it shows that direct visits and referral visits are the most. A lot of times these referral and direct visits can be just people going like current customers or you know, maybe the owner, things like that. Um, so those will get countered here and there. Um, and there's really no way around that. But um, also you can see here organic search. This is one of the main ones. This means how many people are finding you on Google or another search engine. So this means someone actually went to Google, they typed in self-storage in, you know, your town or whatever keyword, and then you popped up. And then social here shows how many people from like Facebook or other socials actually found your website. Okay, so... Um, this is just kind of a good way to, to get a breakdown of the actual numbers and see where people are coming to you from. Um, so as we talked about, this just means how many people went to your website overall. So you've had since, you know, in all time tracking, you've had 3,364. You've had about six pages per, or almost seven pages per session, which is really, really high. Um, normally, you, you know, anything over two to three is really, really good. Um, average uh, session duration. It means when someone goes to your website, they stay an average of four minutes. Also, super, super high. Anything above a minute and a half to two minutes is really, really good. Um, new sessions. This means how many people that have went to your website, what percentage of those people are new? They've never been there before. This is their first time to the site. 48% is a great number. Anything over 35 to 40 is, is great. Um, and, you, and a lot of times we'll see it into the 50s and 60s if it's performing really well. Um, this is kind of a smaller area that this facility is located in, so they don't get quite as many uh, visitors. But um, bounce rate here, this what bounce rate means is how many times people are going to your website, or I, sh I should say how often people are going to your website 
and bouncing off your website or leaving your website without going to another page. So anything less than than 50 is phenomenal. Um, anything less than 60 is is really good. Um, but a lot of times we see this in the 30s and 40s. High 30s is is fantastic. But anything less than 50 is is great. So um, and then right here, this kind of just gives you a breakdown, the same breakdown that's down here. So um, hopefully that helps kind of understand things to look for. My biggest area of concern, if, if I was a facility, I would want to see that I'm ranking better. I would want to look at my Google change and see that it's improving. And again, don't panic if it has a little bit of a downward trend every now and then. That That is natural. It will, it will usually come back up because we're following Google's best practices. We're doing what they say. So that's just kind of part of the game. So hopefully this helps. If you have any other questions, give us a call or shoot us an email really quick and, and we can help answer anything. Um, thanks and then have a good one.